The following is a COVID-19 update statement by Minister for Health, Social Security and International Business, the Honorable Nicholas Steele. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Today, Saturday, March 28th, 2020, I announced that two more laboratory confirmed cases of COVID-19 on mainland Grenada have been diagnosed. This brings the total confirmed cases of COVID-19 to nine. Of that number, one is an imported case and the other is likely an import related case with relatives who were visiting from New York. The new cases are as follows. A 72 year old female who started experiencing symptoms on March 20th and was tested on March 25th. Since the onset of her symptoms, she has been under the care of a doctor. Healthcare officials are aggressively investigating so as to determine the exact point of contact, as well as potentially mass exposure. Given that the relatives arrived on a flight from New York on March 17th. Again, just to stress, we do not yet know the exact point of contact for the particular case, but we are operating under the assumption that all of the foregoing are real possibilities, just to be safe. We are taking no chances. Once that information is available, we will inform the public. The second case is a 50-year-old male who was on the same flight from the United Kingdom on March 16th, sitting within a six foot radius of our first confirmed case. And several of the other cases that were confirmed two days ago on March 26th. Both individuals, as well as the other cases previously announced, are all exhibiting mild to moderate symptoms. In terms of testing, nine people have tested positive so far and 35 negative, with none pending as of this announcement tonight. But with the developments now, we anticipate that this will change overnight. The pending cases are all under surveillance so as to contain further spread of the disease. Our testing included people who, we have, been f who have been found through contact tracing as well as people who had ailments such as respiratory issues. With increasing numbers of cases, CAFA has been working with us and the rest of the region to deliver results in as timely a manner as possible. This is why, now that numbers are increasing, our healthcare team is sparing no effort in contact tracing to determine points of contact, as well as to ascertain the possibility of community spread. In terms of quarantine and isolation measure, measures, we continue to rigorously, rigorously enforce those. Several entire households are presently under quarantine, and we have asked the RGPF to put further tighten to further tighten their surveillance mechanisms to rigidly ensure that people are observing the rules. We remain vigilant. Our medical team led by our infectious disease specialist, Dr. Sean Charles, has been working tirelessly on actively following up with contact tracing since our first case, and even more so after our next six cases were confirmed two days ago. Health officials have already moved to isolate and monitor several others who were in close contact with any of the cases. This will continue for the next 14 days at least. All our confirmed cases are being reported to the World Health Organization and Pan American Health Organization. I urge the public to report or inform the Ministry of Health or nearest health facility of any possible or suspected individual displaying acute respiratory symptoms at this time. If you believe you are exhibiting symptoms of the virus, do not leave your house. Do not take public transportation. Call the health hotline at 538-4787 or 458-4787. In closing, as the Minister of Health, I must emphasize again that the entire population 
must continue to rigidly observe the practices and precautions necessary to contain the spread of COVID-19 here in the state of Grenada. A limited state of emergency is in place to safeguard the population from further spread of this disease. Failure to comply with those measures is potentially fatal to the general population. Let me repeat, failure to comply with those measures is potentially fatal to the general population. For every one person who contracts the disease, potentially dozens more are exposed and vulnerable. Do the maths. Be your brother's keeper because your actions can potentially have life and death consequences for someone else. I again urge you to wash your hands frequently, practice proper cough and sneeze hygiene. Do not touch your eyes, nose or mouth with unclean hands. It is extremely critical that you also maintain social distancing of at least six feet. I cannot stress that enough. Those are simple measures you can take daily to do your part to curb the spread of COVID-19. Thank you, good night, and may God bless us all. The preceding was a COVID-19 update statement by Minister for Health, Social Security, and International Business, the Honorable Nicholas Steele.